The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one of this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about power. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Power lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Hamilton, Alexander Albon, and Sainz, Leclerc, Vettel, Ocon, and Sergio Perez, Kvyat, Stroll, Kevin Magnussen, and Norris, Gasly, Ricardo, Nobuharu Matsushita, and Kuan Yu Zhou. Russell, De Vries, Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. And now it's time to head down to the track. And for one last time, it's lights out and away we go!
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. Another Spanish Grand Prix is over, and what a special race it was. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Power increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes move to the top of the table. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.